use my knife. Uh, a little bit about my knife. It's only a year old, but um, unfortunately the blade has come loose inside the uh, inside the handle. Um, it just knocks back and forth a little bit. I think I did it when I was prying a little bit on some fat wood. So just a little note on that. So I'm I'm a little bit desperate for a knife. Hi guys, my name is Ron Parentosi. I'm putting together a video for the Equip 2 Endure Got Skills contest for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Let's try it this way. Okay, so it caught. Alright, so now I have some grass. It's a little windy out here, but I don't know if you can see that. And I'm harvesting uh, a little bit of fat wood. Beautiful day today. Uh, I'm just uh, going to discuss a little bit about where you might be able to find flint or chert. I stopped at this uh, old abandoned uh, railroad track and it's got a couple different layers of when they put crushed stone. There's a lot of quartz here, but then they have some older stones here. And I spent about 15 minutes, but I was able to find this piece of chert. All right, it's brown in color, and it's got a, a waxy luster. You can see some of the conchoidal fractures on there, especially right there. You can see that there. I already sparked off of a piece of steel. So if I could get flakes off of this, it's a pretty small piece, but it should be good for a fire kit. I'm uh, in a big washout where we had a flood last year and it, it pretty much washed out a big section of this hill in the Rockaway River right by uh, Route 287. And uh, I'm looking for a flint and uh, I came across this piece here. So I'm looking through all these rocks over here. This is another area where you can possibly find Flint is in a, a riverbed. This came out of the bottom, and you have a pretty good piece of glass to start napping with, making arrowheads, practicing uh, making arrowheads for flint and steel. So I just want to demonstrate that. Okay, it doesn't seem like my tinder's dry enough or fine enough, but I do have this char cloth right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spark that and see if I could blow it into flame and get my fire going that way. This right here is just some roots. This is some broken up grass, some shavings that I made from a, a, a dead uh, fern tree. You see that? That's the uh, char cloth. That is cool. do is I'm going to make this a little bundle.
I have my bow drill. This is the drill. It's a piece of cedar. And I have my fireboard here. This is a piece of pine. And I'm making a notch right here. And I'm going to burn that out with this in that spot there before I cut my notch. And also, I can lubricate the top of this by using the oil on my skin so that the friction on the uh, bearing block it'll slip instead of burn and concentrate on my friction on the tip of the, the drill. Now your notch should be just quite short, just shy of the center of your burn hole or your burn groove where you just made. Okay? All the way through so that the sawdust will fall straight down and start accumulating inside the notch instead of if you didn't cut the notch it would be just accumulating around on the top of the wood here it would not be collecting in one spot. we got a smoking ember. Okay. I had my bird's nest set up, but I knocked it over. See that? Okay. So now I'm going to carefully put that in my bird's nest. Like that. Close up on my bird's nest a little bit. Flame.
little bit rotted, that wood. It'll burn, but it's a little bit rotted. All right, so we're not going to practice on a piece that's like this. See how that one broke off on me? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. It's a little bit rotted. It'll burn, but it's Girl Scout. Wood. <laughs> okay, we're in a Girl Scout camp, so we're going to have a little rotted wood. So it comes down to bottom. So you always work and bend your knees so that this always stays flat. Because if you don't, and you're working up here and you slip, you know, see what I'm saying? Choke up. There you go. Straight up and straight down. Okay. Yes. Should I go empty at the bottom? Yeah, you might want to leave the top off so it boils off some of that water. And, uh, yeah, and it'll brown them up. You need to dump the water. Uh, it'll boil off. Just leave the top off for now. And uh, the water will boil off. And uh, the sausage will brown up nice for you. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is you guys are each gonna have to make build your own fryer. Uh, what we got here, the use matches, whatever. Probably shouldn't use that much. And you guys are gonna build it up, light it, and make it run for two minutes, each one of you. Right now it's perfect. This is not No. Keep your hand your arms against your ears. Touch that water. Good job, pal. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, just like the Boy Scouts say, be prepared. So if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks for watching.